Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2021 VCU recital. My name is Martin Visser, and I'm the Director of Music here at St. Margaret's Berwick Grammar. So unfortunately, as we're all aware, the effects of COVID have shut down our concert halls and our auditoriums. So tonight we're bringing this recital, well, I'm in a lounge room right now, and Isaac's performance is in an empty auditorium. But nonetheless, the show will go on, and we're very pleased that you've joined us online to watch tonight's performance. Isaac Tabensky is a VCE music performance student here at the school and is quite an accomplished musician. He's already an associate with the Trinity College London on saxophone and is currently preparing for his Amos in piano. It's been such a joy to work with him over the past year and a half as he's prepared for his VCE Unit 4 recital and that's what you're going to hear tonight. It's a collection of six different works with a wide range of genres and styles and really um, in the 15 years of teaching VCE that I've experienced Isaac is really in the top uh, performers, so you're in for a treat. Um, before we welcome Isaac to the stage, we'd like to just thank Cody Green, his accompanist. Cody is a lecturer and teacher at the University of Melbourne as in, and is an integral part of tonight's performance. So without further ado, please welcome Isaac to the stage. Our program tonight commences with the bright and jubilant Brasiliera from the Darius Milhoud Scaramouche Suite. This work has been inspired by the French musicals from the 1930s known as the Theatre Scaramouche. This piece was originally written for two pianos but has been arranged for solo piano and saxophone and will serve as a sunny and exciting start to tonight's program. Please enjoy Brasiliera. This next work has been composed by Melbourne-based composer Lachlan Davidson and entitled The Autumn Cannonball. It's, in, it's an improvisatory piece combining the harmonic structure of the popular jazz standard Autumn Leaves and the melodic virtues of the famous American saxophonist Cannonball Adderley. We hope you enjoy Isaac's performance of The Autumn Cannonball. Thank you. 
The next performance tonight is the first movement of Hot Sonat by Erwin Schulhoff, and it serves as a work that invokes intrigue and mystery in tonight's program. It's often been described as unpredictable, uncertain, and atonal. This is somewhat reflective of Schulhoff's experiences having been conscripted into the Austrian army during World War I and living through the regime as a Jewish musician. As a deep insight to Schulhoff's epoch, we hope that tonight's performance of Hot Sonat will be a humble offering to honour the memory of him and his work tonight. Please welcome Isaac as he presents Hot Sonat.
As the title suggests, Improvisation No. 1 by Japanese composer Ryo Noda is by far the most unusual and unique addition in tonight's program. Inspired by the shakuhachi, a Japanese flute type instrument, this work features several extended saxophone techniques showing a range of tonal qualities and melodic dexterity on the saxophone. In this work you will see some of the extreme limits on how the saxophone can be manipulated to produce a variety of unique and extraordinary sounds. We hope that you're entertained and even learn something in tonight's performance of improvisation number one.
We now move into the Baroque era of the 16 and 1700s, way before the saxophone had even been invented. Henry Eccles, who was a contemporary of the famed composer George Friedrich Handel, originally composed this sonata in G minor for the violin. And while Eccles was known for borrowing musical ideas and lines from other composers, as heard in the second movement, we can assure you that the first movement is completely original. We hope you enjoy Isaac's performance of Sonata in G minor by Henry Eccles. For the final performance in tonight's program, we'll hear the exhilarating Saxophobia by Rudy Wydoff. This is the most famous composition from him and it accurately portrays a saxophone mania that gripped the United States in the 1920s. It's interesting as, as this work celebrates its 100th year anniversary, we hope that you can enjoy this fun and lively bebop tune. Please welcome Isaac back to the stage to close out with Saxophobia. Thank you. 
So that concludes the performance tonight. And as you can see, Isaac has worked extremely hard to present um, music of such a high caliber. Thank you again to Cody for his work with the accompaniment. And you can't see, but behind the camera this evening is Isaac's dad, Jonathan, who's been filming. So thank you, Jonathan. We wish Isaac all the very best in his VCE recital, which he's gonna perform just in a few days. And all the very best as he continues to pursue music as a career and at tertiary level. Thank you for your performance, Isaac, and as an audience, we hope that you've enjoyed tonight's performance. Thank you.